What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And welcome back to Mars. This is from the Opportunity Rover. And it would have, it's a false color shot that they did by adding the hues and, and adjusting things. But this one's been around for a while. It's been on a whole bunch of different websites. But to me, there's some pretty cool anomalies on here. Even from down here, just some of the shapes. Um, some cylindrical type blue shapes down here. Um, to what a lot of people on some websites call possible water down here with maybe leaving rippling. Now, me on the other hand, I'm thinking that's most likely probably the sand. Um, but then again, there's some there's some interesting. Uh, looks like stuff has been falling down this way, and there's nothing down there to see to be falling. Um, so on the other hand, there's also some interesting blocks that, that look like they're straight out of Pumapunku here. Um, here, these these set right here. Uh, the, actually, these two set of blocks right here, um, with the rounded back side there. This one comes up here, and on top of it is this blue, interesting blue stuff. Um, almost looks like character writings, and some of it has fallen off. Like almost like when you hear about Egypt and how everything had like a, a beautiful white fascia of just, you know, pure limestone and. and Interesting stuff, and also what seems to be down here, maybe pot. Look at the color changing here. Um, what seems to be this looks more like a little pyramid up there, and little steps and stuff like that. So once again, it's following the whole you know, Egypt ruin type thing, and also like what we see in Mexico, these cutouts. We see you got these cutouts here, are these stars. So let me show you exactly where we got it from, and we'll, I'll read it to you real fast. And uh, after this, I'm really good. I've got like a ton of Curiosity rover things you guys have sent me, and I'm gonna try and bust it out, bust it out fast. I'm not gonna. You know, a lot of times I'll sit here and I'll diddly daddy on these pictures, but I've got so many, I want to try and get to the point um, and keep keep the video moving. You know me, I try to get off. If you watch my videos, I just start going off on all these crazy tangents and whatnot. And some of you love that. You know, I, I sometimes I still can't see how you guys sit here and, and listen or watch, but this false color image shows the rock at Chocolate Hills perched on the rim of the 10 meter, 30 foot wide Conception Crater. All right, this rock has a thick, dark layer coating that is interesting to science because it may many of the rocks in the surrounding area have the same mysterious dark stuff. The coating could be remnants of a layer that was changed by the action of water or weather. It could also be a layer of rock that melted when a meteor less than a foot across impacted Mars, ejecting the rocks and other cre creating a crater conception. Knowing its origins will help them understand the history of Mars. Opportunity's mission is to figure out the ingredients of this morsel by studying the chemicals in it. Patches of unusual dark material can also be seen on top of the rocks and several others in the scene. So this was taken on the 2144th day. And Opportunity Rover is still up there rock and rolling. I got the TIFF file. It's a small file. I might as well get it anyway. Um, so we're talking 33 feet across this little crater right here. Not too big. But if we start off there, they do mention this layer up here. And it seems to be interesting how this, this how it looks kind of mimics some of the stuff that was found here on Earth. At least in my eyes it does. Here's a very interesting piece. I love how blue it is. And look at the, uh, look at the actual shape to it up here. It's got like a little half moon and it comes up around here. Now... That's been added. See, I've actually this is the one, this is how it looks coming straight from the picture. Now, on what I've done was I just basically uh, sharpened it up just a tad. That's all I had done there. Let me see image. Let's see if we can't just do another auto color. See what happens. It probably is not going to move much. It didn't. And then adjustments. Let's see if we can do one more. Uh, you know what? Let me just do one more sharpen. Sharpen. Smart sharpen. That pulls it out a little bit more. The sharpen tool really does liven this thing up. I'm really getting uh, used to it. There's a couple of good ones out there. I need to I need to invest in. Um, maybe some free ones. My buddies are telling me about. And everything I said, everything on Mars seems to just be out of place. Like something amazing happened there that took this stuff and just threw it about the planet. This here seems to be a piece of something. Look how it's perfectly cut along this side. It seems to be cut there. Um, not as perfect over here, but there looks like there's a piece of bevel running up the middle of it. And I might be wrong there. That just could be a total rock. And I say that all the time. You know, I see what I see. You see what you see. That's how I start my videos out. That's uh, I like to run it here. You know, because it's like 
in, in the scheme of things, it is like we're looking at clouds. But when we start putting everything together, it's uh, the evidence starts. Well, I'm at 250 videos. So if you're new to my channel, um, some of you guys are actually doing it lately, and it's cool. Go back and look at some of the old videos. I've been pretty busy. Uh, my uh, Christina, my friend from Russia, is about to go home. So I'm really about to dive back into these videos. But what do you guys think about how a lot of this stuff looks to be vitrified? Um, like there's been vitrification to it. Uh, just like down here, right here, even this piece right here, whatever's on top of it seems to be uh, vitrified. And then you've got pieces like this just kind of standing up out of things. They just look kind of like machinery or something to me. Who, you know, and maybe it's like well, I was trying to put it into terms of Earth terms because, you know, I'm seeing what I see, but we really don't know exactly what the terms of Mars would be and what stuff would look like. But here's a nice little piece here. And then, like I said, you've got these, uh, this right here is what intrigues me the most, because see how the, 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 the sand isn't as blue, this looks like a bottle, <laughs> it looks like a typical American beach somewhere, where there's been like a bottle or trash been thrown around, but look how something's been running down here, whether it was water, it looked like it was taking stuff with it, and, uh, let's see if we can't just back, take off that one sharp in there. And we'll add a few, step forward, step forward. All right, that's just the one sharpen we had that I started with. Now, if you look up here, let me hit pause real fast. See, if you look up here, these do seem to be, some of them look very ornate, especially after you sharpen them up a little bit. Now, some would say we're pulling out image pixels, but see how just some of the stuff this looks back here seems to be 90 degrees. It looks like it's beveled a little bit. Um, up here, you've got a piece that seems to be cut, and on this one corner is a perfect circle. Um, and you can even see it. I mean, it's, it's as, pretty much as perfect as it gets. And then we've just got this stuff that looks to be just tossed into the ground, like whatever it was that took it out. And Thunderbolt Project really has been turning me on to a lot of interest, a lot of great ideas about what might happen on Mars. Um, I haven't really played much with the brightness and the contrast, see if it does change much, but there are some dark spots on here, I like to see if it, uh, no, you know, they're pretty dark, but there's not, you know, the contrast themselves don't seem to pull, him we cancel that out, pull much more out of it. Well, this piece here, like I said, was just very, uh, compared to the rest of it, I mean, look out here on the, look it up there, not too much just sitting out there, but right here like a cylinder type piece it just got a little what looks to be a little sphere on the end which at that that distance that could just be you know what it looks like i'm sure if we rode the rover up to it it'd be a lot different um i know a lot of you guys are seeing faces and stuff like that because my eyes matrix these faces too i mean you see like little eyes ah uh, this looks like a skeleton right there you know and you could do this with pretty much anything um but some of the stuff does look ornate, and, and I believe all over Mars does have these things. But are we looking at something here, an entrance to a... Look at the difference. Look at the, That's just by just hitting the uh, sharpen. I mean, that's how blurry they send these things back. So when you sharpen up, you can really sharpen them up well. But this could be a little cave entrance or something like that. Look how it's uh, you know just kind of sitting there on the edge. Now, also, where was the one piece? There was a piece that looked really cut. Here, once again, you've got these little pieces on the top of it. And look, see how it's kind of layered off. And that just could be strata that's been taken off by the wind. Now, I will agree with uh, NASA on that point there. But see this piece right here? It's kind of interesting how they both kind of go up together. Now, this also looks like it's got a shadow and everything coming off of it. See that right there? Um, not 100% sure. What would you even think about calling something that looked like that? I mean, it looks like kind of like a, a bicycle. Um, like a handle or something along those lines. All right, so let's bounce down here, see if we can't find, like, these little cylinders, like, right, yeah, and this little piece over here, and then we'll be done. This little cylinder-looking thing right there, look how, uh, I mean, it's it comes like this. Look how you can see it even pretty well here. It almost looks like a soda can or something like that. And then you've got here, and you're going to see this right here, too, as well. Well, it looks like something, it almost looks like a little bug or something that's walking around. And see how, like, the color difference between the two? Oops very interesting how the color 
is that different from that little spot? Like whatever that was landed there, I guess, with the rain and flipped over. But it looks like it could be a top of a skull. It looks like it could be a rock. But see how it looks like the front has like a circle bevel in it. And uh, the back, so it's like almost like a circle and a bevel. Like you could actually look, put your finger or something into it. Um, I thought this was just cool looking right here. To just look at it. I mean, when I see, it's got way too much. Uh, it's got there. It is. That's the sec. This is the just just one of the smart sharpens. Like if that was eyes, nose, mouth. Basically, it looks like a little little guy smoking a bowl or something like that. <laughs> anyway. More and more little tinker toys down here. Stuff that has little shapes to it. Let me see if I blast that and see what it looks like, how it just came. See that? I mean, it's like a perfect D shape to it. That's got a perfect C shape to it. And right here has got, to, and it's, it's weird how it's just sitting right there. And it, this looks like a little sphere, and I'm pointing it with my finger into the thing. But here it kind of goes away when you sharpen it. But also look how just randomly the it changes the landscape, just the color there. And then this piece I thought was interesting as well because see how it's, this is coming up and, it, and you, know, you see the shadow there. So just pretty cool whatever in the world this is. Like so it just might just be a little hump of, of dirt or something. But once I started doing the, uh, you know, it looks like that. But once you really look at it, it's, it looks like it's got a little ornate pieces to it. A little circle here, a little circle here. It looks like two eyes and a mouth. I said I know that's probably the matrixing, but I see what I see. You see what you see. I think that some of the coolest things are that where you see these pieces that look like they're cut in the front. They look like they uh, they have the like they're from Puma Punk or something. Those are, I always say that that's that's the one place my eyes go back. Or a lot of those uh, even I said they're all over the art world where the the stones sit in place, but they also have stuff that looks like this throughout them. And right here it looks to be a face that was you know carved into one of these along the lines. At least a face, the shape of a face. So. We got this little 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 guy going up in the air. Uh, over here we looked at briefly, but look at this here. More and more it looks to be. Sh look at this. This is kind of cool. Look how it comes around with that perfect C, and then it looks like it's got a little gap across it. It's got and it goes continues right there. Two little pieces. Now guys. I'm going to start putting the questions to you guys. What do you think's up there? Do you think this is ruined? Do you think this is rocks? Or do you, do you think there's another little civilization that's taken over and is using maybe ruins from older to rebuild their civilization? Because sometimes when we see stuff like this, um, at this scale, either that or maybe NASA's lying about the scale, which I, I don't think is the case in this one, but uh, maybe little six-inch beings have taken over. Maybe they're intelligent um, and are utilizing you know, these old ruins and things like that. So i love to hear what you guys think below. Once again, see how all this stuff is just buried. You've got the shapes, um, circle shapes. Look at this. It's like a perfect uh, a round piece, and it comes down, intersects into this thing, so you can't see what the rest of it does when it gets down there, but it definitely looks to be some sort of made object. Up here, you've got that circle on the edge. Here, you've got like a pipe. I mean... To see maybe one or two little things like this, people always tell me, you know, go out and take a picture of nature. And I do it all the time. And I was just start making some videos with this, you know, of just me just taking pictures of nature. But then you get these things that look, they're sheared off, sheared off, sheared off. Look at the color. You can see the rust, the dust, it's not there. So how'd that happen? Maybe that's what's happened. Maybe they're using little pieces like this for, uh, you know, survival of, of the the fittest but all right guys what's up in the sky 37 there's a lot of good stuff going on, on the website www.whatsupinthesky.com i'm a little hoarse today i was at the redskins game redskins whoop some butt today finally i can say that it's been maybe what 10 games since i've been able to say that much love to you guys peace